All right, for this video, I am going to uh, show you how to uh, uh, set up uh, uh, set up FFT Arena. Now, what you want to do first off is you want to go to FFT Arena. You want to uh, click on this subject, uh, the Arena PPF download. Then you want to. Click on this, the arena, arena beta. You want to download that. I do have a video. I do have the um, stuff already downloaded, but I thought I'd show you uh, where to get it. Next, you want to get a clean uh, FFT ISO. You pretty much uh, know how to do that, but what I recommend is MU Paradise. And you can go on to uh, let's see PSP ISOs. Yeah, you want to go to uh, PlayStation ISOs. Then you just want to find uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Stupid pop up. Now, what you want to do next is uh, you also want to grab um, you also want to grab uh, PPF Omatic right here so you want to click on download file again I already do have all the stuff uh, I'm just showing you uh, you know where to get it now the next thing you want to get is you want to go to winhex.com slash winhex and you want to click on this. You want to download the the latest uh, WinHex version, sixteen point two. All right. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to go to PPF Formatic, and you want to get the ISO file, and this is permanent. You want to make sure that uh, that you're patching from the right file, because otherwise you could screw up. So you want to pay attention to where you're getting the ISO file and the patch from. So you want to hit apply. All right. So that's been applied. Now we're gonna open up the memory card generator give it some time yep and the, this is an excel uh, spreadsheet so obviously we have no teams in there so if you give me just a second I'm going to add in um, two random teams and you'll see right you see where I'm coming from. well actually let me show you how to um, add in teams actually I'm not gonna skip over that screw it so and I do vaguely remember how I set up my team but this is basically to show you how to do it like how you insert a team you do a player name you pick the palettes uh, unit order depending on what the player wants so Performance is too slow. Keep current color scheme. Thank you. Ah, it gets like that sometimes. Give me a second. There we go. I had to plug in the fan. Ah, to think my laptop needs a fan to just stay alive. But yeah, basically you um. You add in whatever info that you have for your team or for someone else's team. Now, as you can see, the uh, the total JPUs is already automatically calculated based on the uh, ability you give to your you give to your unit. Stone bun, <laughs> stone buns. I know, I know. Enough joking around on my part.
No, not that the boost I originally had. had. Chantage. Ah, uh, I am just going to double check very quick. Just to make sure that that's how my, um, uh, is how my archer is on my big assault team. Just going to double check for just two seconds. Oh no, I still have them. the boots. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I forget stuff like this. So yeah, you basically uh, add in units like so. And I will get to the rest of this video in just a second. Uh, just give me a couple minutes to add in another team. And we will resume this video. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, um, <clears throat> I add in a second team. Now, say now you do have the two players, for example. You want to add in um, to whichever player slot you want. Alright. Then you want to do copy. And you want to open up WinHex. Paste in the new file. Then you want to scroll all the way down to... ASCII hex, pretty much the very end. You want to hit save as. Then you want to save this to uh, this one right here. You want to name it, let's say, Arena. Dot GME. Now, what I suggest this is because if you don't do dot GME, you won't be able to uh, load the memory card that way. It won't work. So you want to do that. Then um, what you do next is I'm go right here. Open up go to the desktop. You want to open up that and you want to hit save. And so uh, now what and now what will happen from here is now for me for some reason because I have a control emulator plugin, I gotta do this. Click on random button changes, click on again, it's all fine. But that's just what's going on with me. Uh, we're gonna go to desktop. See, there we go. Desktop. Hopefully, um, yep, there we go. Did it right. Because when you see the FFT Arena logo, that means you patched it right. And here is uh, the teams. Uh, this is not now, uh, as I stated before, this is not like an official match or anything. This is just basically the showcase. Um, um, <clears throat> this is just basically showing you how it's done. And I'm gonna treat you to a little bit of a bonus. And regardless of who wins, uh. You know, this is how you set up a uh, video for Arena. You can pick the maps, obviously. So, we'll say go to uh, number six at the roof, at the gate of Ralvane's Castle, excuse me. And you just let the two teams uh, pretty much duke it out.
So that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And, um, yep, stay tuned for more FFT Arena videos. Thanks for watching.